Okay, I'm getting the bin ready to dump. Bucket on the one here. Okay, um, I went out last night, but I when I loaded my first video, I forgot my SD card the second time it happened. So I had my GoPro no SD card. So no video. Um, but uh, jam packed full. Jam packed full is a really good night. Um, I got another card here, so I'm gonna leave another card in here in case it happens again. Can't afford losing videos. Full load, bottles everywhere. Galore, it's all bottles. A lot, there was a lot of milk jugs too this time. More than I expected. For that location. So all, all the bottles, jam packed here if you can see it. So I'm gonna, what I wanna do is I'm gonna, I think I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might put that bin further back. I'm thinking maybe. I'm not really sure. But I like to kind of lift it up because it's sitting in the mud. Lift up the front and put a two by four under, but we'll see. Uh, I have a that, that pickup from that bakery, our delicatessen, for Saturday. He's gonna get the rest of the ovens and some other stuff. He said. He's got more stuff. He said. So we'll let the thing warm up for a little bit. I'm gonna start move, moving. All, I want to clear all the cereal. I need all the cereal here. This steel here. I'll we'll probably just trash it. So I'm gonna clean this area. Maybe put everything that way. The pipes, anyways. I need some of these pipes or antennas and stuff. So when I move to my new location. I want to be able to uh, set up something so and these I might use these ones because these are for a fence I want to build on the side there so I may actually move stuff over I need to cut all this stuff out Yeah, I'll just put everything this way nicely, clean up around the bin. So I need all the space here. There's certain areas I can't put nothing like on the pipeline, right? So there's pipelines that run here. That's why I don't have nothing stored that way. Basically two lines here. Okay, so uh, the radio, radio shot, everything seems to be breaking down this thing. The radio went, you know, made some weird noises and then it doesn't, the screen is, the screen is dead. See? Screwed up. It's dead. So I got a little radio now. Always something. The red's going to be retired soon. See now it goes like this, see it's some glitch happened there like software or something. See? Nothing. I don't know if I can get a cheap deck somewhere. Had a clock in there, I always use the clock, right? Always right there. Radio, I just use a radio a couple stations. Well sometimes the news, sometimes I listened to a station on the island, it's got some classic rock, it's pretty good. Q, it's called a Q or something, it's pretty good. Um, but anyways, it's too bad. It made some farting noises and then that was it. It was black before, now it's showing some white screen. It's not even turning on and off. 
Okay, so anyways, always something, right? So let me get uh, organized here. Start getting the bin hooked up. And then um, I'll show you a picture of it when it's in the air. Um, like I say, I did get um, all the computers yesterday. I can't believe I got them all in there. It's just, it was so much material. I have seven here that have motherboards. One is complete. The Sony is complete. And the other ones, those are shelves. Uh, I have two bins full already. Right? For sure I'm going to have... Yesterday I got quite a bit of stuff there. I think I, like, I, think I got it. See how things are so weird? I had shelves, computer shelves yesterday. The second half, I found a computer shell and another computer. Believe it or not. And I found maybe an espresso machine in the box, brand new. So, let's see if we can open the door here. No, we can't open it. Yeah, right there. I think that thing's brand new. Looks like brand new. I'll have to take a better look at it. Uh, barbecue, top half, bike. You can see I might have a computer. A lot of material in there. Right, it's, it's really stuff big time. But anyways, um... This kind of cool eight ball. Give this a Joe. Here's the bike. That's actually a giant. I think it's an aluminum frame. Giants, yeah, aluminum frame. Giants actually a pretty good name, but after all, they just get too beat up. Like that's a giant, maybe old school giant. So it's it's cheap, but the newer ones are fancy. They would have. If they still make them, they would have really nice brakes, lots of nice accessories and all that, but this is going to be scrap. I threw those weights in there and ladies, uh, somebody, I don't know if it's a lady or not, but someone said they wanted them. Then they wanted to meet me and I said, well, I'll meet me an hour. Oh, this is all, I'm too busy now. It's up to someone else. That's why I texted her back. Good luck, I said. People joke. She said the, these are bigger than normal the holes. She was asking the size. I don't know. Some are small, some are big. But whatever. So I'm saying sometimes it's not even worth it. I put a spike in this spike in for 30. See if someone wants it for 30. And even take 20, whatever. If I put 20, they want it for five, right? So if it doesn't go, you know, end of the week is, or when I take the next load, it's going to scrap pile. Well the wheels will come off anyways, the rest is steel. But it's a nice little kid's bike for a little girl or something, right? medium sized frame it's in pretty good shape like a couple of rust spots but nothing major clean kind of bike anyways that's why sometimes that's why i don't bother right like if i can't make even 20 bucks it's not worth it. you gotta wait for someone to come here and they dick around it's kind of not worth it right to me anyways it's made to someone else but not for my time okay okay that's the load there it actually feels kind of heavy to be honest it's got some weight weight on there I'm hoping around 3,000 pounds, but we'll see, I don't know, sometimes you can't tell. I mean, the front end, look how high it is, it's got to be 2,800 pounds, so I think, it's pretty high. Okay, so uh, we'll let you know what a weight of paid. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, uh, price went down, $20 drop all across the board basically. So uh, I did get uh, 3,300 pounds and I got 274.61 clear and it was a $5.89 surcharge. So 274.61 down 20 bucks would have been quite a bit higher at 3,300 pounds. Pretty good, pretty good weight. Okay, we're gonna start unloading this van here. It's getting really hot, actually. Um, you know, just the weather, like I say, it's um, starting to get warmer now, and it's not even that hot. It's like only 15. It feels like it's well, like I'm still dressed for winter. I got uh, well, I don't really have that much on. Right? I got a t-shirt, a sweater, and I got I got that uh, thing on my head here. That um, what do they call it? Um, tuker, whatever they call them. Um, I find it. When it's cold, it was good, right? The wife bought it for Christmas, and it seems to work pretty good when it's really cold. Especially when it's raining, it keeps you warm. But uh, eventually, I'll take it off because it's getting way too hot. 
Okay, so we'll start working on this. Let me get some stuff ready, uh, bring some stuff closer. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, you know it's a good night when the stuff falls out of your windows. So it was a pretty good light night, like I said. Um, did really good. What am I do? Maybe I'll screw some caps right away. The flies are coming all, all over the place. Pull the caps off right away. Don't have to worry about them later. If I'm um, like right now, I get some in my hand, right? I found one one really cool bottle yesterday. It's an Asian bottle, but uh, not from China, but. Cool. Well, I actually found one really cool one, one that's not bad too. Tons of balls. After a while, it still stop begging. And it's like when you uh, got a full load, you think, oh, a few more, a few more, a few more, and then like a ha half an hour later, you're still putting more stuff in. That's just jam and a ceiling like this. And I grabbed the wash washboard. I thought, you know, or this ironing board. I didn't think I had any room. Then just started jamming and it started going back. Too bad on my video, like I say. But now I have an SD card sitting. In the house, be okay. And the second time I forgot. Last time my video got corrupted, I loaded up to YouTube and he corrupted it somehow. That was a disappointment. It was a good video too. But that's how I like to do it. Full load. Don't fool around. I like these small ones, that's still 10 cents. So we're trying to beat my record of 15,000 bottles, 15,000 or something, but cash. But um, I'm at to around 9,000 or something right now, 9,400 I think or something. But I see easily, easily got about 2,000 there, and probably all together about 2,500 or 3,000. Some of these bottles, I don't know how, why they're so heavy. Like unbelievably heavy. They were three times heavier than any other bottle. Here's come and eat one. It's like a candle dripping. See that? Maker's Mark. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Handmade. Straight Bourbon Whiskey. 
Duke, Kentucky. Hmm. Cool, huh? That's the cool thing is, uh, like, as a bottle collector, you know, you find these bottles and you kind of appreciate they're kind of cool. You know, um, considering, you know, nowadays everything's automated, it's just cheap, there's no craftsmanship no more, there's no, there's nothing involved. And then when you get something fancy with a really cool looking bottle, then you're thinking, you know, someone spent money off for that bottle, it wasn't cheap. You know, it's probably good good liquor or something, right? A full garbage can just, just out of that front seat. I just take the tops off when I'm when I'm counting, but if I can do as much as possible now, speeds up time. Just that little area. That's one ball here I found. That's a cool ball there. Look at that. Fen Chiwi or something. 53% alcohol by volume. It smells good. It smells nice. Kind of the smell's kind of gone. It was more yesterday when I first opened it. But that's cool looking at it. Look at that. Stoneware. I like that. I'm keeping that one. You know, I was getting different kind of bottles, so even that's a bit of a different one. It's not that I'm going to keep it, but it's got to be kind of cool, right? Every nook and cranny, I could. Here's the other ball I found. That one here, look at that. Look at that label, isn't that kind of cool? Look at the sun. I like that one. Uh, this is Luzoholujayo. Some of that. I like that. I like that just the sparkle of it. So these two, two are keepers for me. For ten cents, I'm not gonna. I might as well keep it. Ten cents is nothing. Especially this one is cool because these, that could be very expensive. Anybody knows, my Asian friends and viewers, are you able to read that? Let me know what, what it's worth to buy the alcohol. Same with something like this. I, I'm thinking from China probably, but. Uh, to get that embossing like that, it's not cheap. You have to blow it into a mold. It's not like a free blown, easy cylinder bottle. Blown and boom. No, that's, it's got a special mold. I'm doing the mount of bottles, just, just basically in the front seats. A few fell out the window, but. I cannot believe it. Look at this. There's still more. There's still bottles there. This piece of scrap. There's the bottle. See all this? Front seat. Isn't that ridiculous? There. That's basically the front seat. All this. Look 
lots in it behind the console here and under the seat not under the seat but in the back of the seat crazy huh okay so I'm gonna sort sort a bit and then come back again video here and there most is same same stuff but I want to show you since you can see the loading video there's balls are just everywhere it was slow for bottles at the start and then it was started picking up near the end it was like then I ran out of space Okay, we're gonna sort. Hold on. Okay, here's some other e waste. The other thing I thought was a computer, it's actually like an all in one type box. So it adds up pretty, pretty good to, to small stuff. You know, I didn't have really a lot of stuff in there, big stuff, like small, small stuff adds up pretty good. There's a lot of stuff here. That's the hard part, it's just unloading the van. Getting the stuff is fun, but unloading is the hard part for me. It's just too much small stuff. If I was gonna bag those milk cartons, the van before I have that's why I don't bag it. It's too bulky. Let's see if that's aluminum. Yeah, I thought it was aluminum, yeah. See the amount of milk jugs? It's crazy. That's you don't get a lot in that area. For some reason there's so many. I'm gonna bag these anyways later. These ones, I would think.
I think it's a fly tape or something. Plus I have to crunch these down too, so the bags, plus bags, right? I'd like to thank John from Ontario for sending me bags. He's probably sent me about 50 bags already at least, or more. He's sending me envelopes all the time for bags for uh, the bigger ones. I don't know where to get them. He gives me these really big ones so that work really good. They work really good. I already put around about four bags of bottles already sorted them out already. There's lots of bottles here, There's lots of bags still in here. Like I don't know exactly how many bottles I got, but I definitely got a lot. I, th I would say probably about, I'm thinking about 1500. I found this, I think, like brand new. I need to look at this thing in detail. You know, to me, it looks like brand new. can't tell. Looks a little steamy but it just could be moisture. You know, coming from the west side, right? I mean, people got a lot of money. People throw away all kinds of good stuff. Some tools I'm gonna pop this off here and throw them to the bin. Okay, hold on. Stupid thing if it got hammered, got the wrong screwdriver. Oh, the house boy stripped. That's what happens. Hammer at least it gets it loose. Stripped. Hopefully, we can break it off. Well, actually, well, last night I saw a wheel. I didn't take it because it had a, a kryptonite lock on it. Those U-shaped locks it had a wheel sitting there, perfect tire, and a lock sitting on it. So someone stole it, I guess. Stole the bike. Hmm. So I figured I'm not gonna deal with it. Well, I was pretty full anyways. It's different, it was hidden in my load. But no, it was like in the open there. 
So I don't want to be jacked up and how to explain yourself. Where'd you get it from? Here's that computer I found. The coat. Stripped out. Let me just take the wire off it. Same with the other ones. I won't take the wire out. low grade it's trading quite a bit coppers climbing too coppers going up in price uh, that's the other box I got here like I said it was a uh, HDMI, it's like an all-in-one type box, never seen one before. Chinese knockoff. It's got steel here, which is not shouldn't. Well, I guess that is steel, maybe that part. Yeah. Okay. Usually, I don't see rust like that. It's usually chrome plated. I think the better ones. So, anyways, that's one bike. See all the milk jugs? Just a crazy melt. Stainless steel this one. I was really tight for space and I said to myself, if I if, if I can fit it in, I'm taking it. If it's stainless steel, I mean stainless steel, I'm taking it. Copy the stainless steel. So I'm taking it. Riddle could sit in the sun too much. This one I just cut here, cut there. 
even how it has the actual screw. Let's see if it unscrews. aluminum chair aluminum chair okay I'm gonna start uh, unloading some more stuff but um, yeah a lot of bags I can't believe the amount of bottles it's crazy and there are a lot of cans so cans are what you want they, they add up pretty good they work out really good, cans. Okay, finally done here. Well, it's more work unloading than packing. Or packing or loading it up anyways. I found this is kind of cool. I'm not sure where it's from. It's got a label, ingredients label package on the side, but maybe kind of cool can. I found this perfume, it says gold metal, something. Some kind of perfume. Some kind of clone. Yard, Yardley. Okay, this is my tin. This is where we got for e-waste. When uh, microwave, four aluminum pots and pans. That's stainless steel here. Stainless steel a rack. That's all aluminum, aluminum plates. I got two 20 lines here. I got two of these. Uh, I seen a demo. They cut, there was a demo hose and I cut the two, two off the machine that was sitting there. Couldn't get them. Well, I was full anyways, but uh, aluminum chair. This could be new espresso thing, Nespresso. My wife says they're really expensive. She brought one for the daughter, really expensive. And it, they were throwing stuff up for that hose. Like they were cleaning something up. And it was stuff in garbage bags. It didn't look, but I seen that was full, so I took it. This spike here, aluminum, that's aluminum. This is all the glass we got from that day. These are rejects here. You know, you don't know they'll create chocolate milk after a while when it's dark. Uh, this is all the glass we got yesterday. There's got to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably about 250 bottles, I would say. Lots of small ones mixed in here. I found about 20 of these in one container. These are worth 10 cents. So I got at least probably about 30 of, 30 of those total. So it's probably about at least 250 for sure. So it's $25 here. Um, incredible amount of bottles. So look at that. These are little milk jugs. I never had a pile so big like this. And I missed one day too, don't forget. If I went one day longer, I would even have more. But I was tired, so it's okay. It works out. All oh, this is pop cans. That's all beer cans. And that's probably like... 35 uh, 350 here there's probably about um, 70 bucks here right there maybe 80 bucks even and here is lots there there's probably about at least three hundred dollars minimum here at least um, those juice boxes these are miscellaneous steel cans there's so many here there's probably I would say 100 there 100 bucks out of this probably a hundred dollars close to there's a lot of small bottles, not a lot of big ones, and I crunched all the big ones down. So all these ones, see how I crunched them? Smaller. Right? And all these, I took the air out as much as I could. So it's a more condensed to load. So I think that's going to be it. Uh, good scrap run, 3,300 pounds. Uh, not bad day. I'm going to put this tin there. Um, pretty good. Uh, I'm going to clean up some of this area here and then. I need to get some stuff ready for tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. It's like 5.30. I'll take a little break right now. I'm kind of tired. Um, really hot today too, so 
temperature's muggy, right? You know, considering it's been so cold lately and, and it gets so warm overnight, tires you out, right? But uh, overall, very successful night. Too bad I couldn't film. Like I say, uh, left the um, SD card inside my other, when I was processing my videos, I forgot the card. So, oh well. Now I have a spare card in here, so I'm okay. Okay, guys, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.